Hi everybody, this is Lisa. I just wanted to show you the latest project I've been working on. Um, this is a scrapbook with a hard cover, a chipboard cover. Um, this was, there we go, there's the spine. This was another little practice. I learned how to put together the interactive pages by watching tutorials from Dawn's Inspirations and um, that was really helpful. However, I did struggle when I decided to move from the soft spine in Dawn's tutorial to a hard spine, like a complete chipboard cover, top and bottom and spine. Uh, I watched a lot of videos on YouTube, did a lot of searching, but I, I really um, couldn't find anything. So eventually I came across a lady called Patty, and she is um, NW Girl 1949 on YouTube. Patty has been doing YouTube tutorials for a long time, but I was just lucky that I came across her. And this lady has nearly 12,000 subscribers and I thought I'm going to have to ask her advice because I followed her tutorial and no matter what I did, I ended up getting cracks down the spine. So not only did Patty get back to me to answer my query, but she sent me lots of advice, not just one piece of advice. So there was lots of messages exchanged. So I really would like to thank her very much for the help that she gave me. Um, without your help, Patty, there is no way I would have been able to progress to this. And like I said, this was another practice because I have actually made eight by eight pages, um, a lovely princess scrapbook that I'm creating for my daughter. But I've only got as far as making the pages and I was just completely lost. So thank you very much. So this is um, the book. The inside pages are 6 by 6 and I think the outside pages are about 7 by 7 inches. Um, I used the front page from the paper collection to make the front cover and just layered it on top of black card once I had actually uh, covered the chipboard. I decided to put lace along the left hand edge as you'll see here. There we go. And I distressed that with Tim Holtz Distress Ink and I think it was black suit that I used for this one. I'm learning a lot of stuff and distressing pages was one of them. So I've done a lot of distressing on this but the paper collection that I used was actually really good because it did have a distressed uh, base to it. I've also made little flowers and where there's writing here and here, I've covered it up and decorated it and I think it looks quite neat. Lots of nice glitter as well. On the inside cover, I made an envelope and you can put some memorabilia in there if you wish. And on this page here, I decided to put um, like a flap in um, and it opens up to reveal some photo mats, which I have added um, a stamped butterfly, which I then uh, cut with one, one of my die cuts. I'm also learning how to do stamping, so learning all round, really. Oops. On the next page, it's just plain for a photograph. On this page here, I uh, put a little corner pocket in there so you can stick a photograph in there. And on this side, there is a pocket, which I've left open at one side, and I've made two photo mats. 
turning it over I've made a belly band and put some little notlets inside I've also stamped them and distressed them just to match the theme of the book and these are from a company in Scotland called Frog Publications.co.uk and they make lots of lovely notelets, um, nice Christmas ones too. On this side there is a flap, inside the flap, whoops, oh, see now I'm blocking it, are two tags which I have stamped. This is obviously the latest in thing for me is stamping. Um, you lift that up, there's room for journaling on the right hand side and um, you pull this flap down, room for journaling here and room for a photograph right here. Turning it over there are two photo mats which sit um, slide into the side which are decorated and stamped again. You open this up to reveal another a little corner where you can stick a photograph in. I've actually put in a little envelope here. Lift the flap up this time and there's room for a photo and room for journaling. There's a couple of pages there. I think I went a wee bit too far with the distressing on this one. This page is a waterfall effect page with a magnet closure. I think it looks quite nice against the black card. Just lift that up. I put a little bow on it. That is actually um, the main kind of craft thing I do is making hair bows, hair accessories for children. Um, my daughter actually started making these um, and I kind of took it up and that's what I've been doing for a while but I decided I wanted to get into paper crafting and I have always wanted to make scrapbooks so this was just the, the latest thing and these are the waterfall pages I did find that this is the first time I've ever used black card uh, the project I worked on before had pink card and um, I'm really I really find the black card quite difficult difficult to see when you're trying to line things up to stick things on and also if you overspilled any wet glue onto it, it it leaves a mark so not although the black looks nice I'm not really a big fan of working with it when you turn this over there is another side pocket with a photo mat and this one actually does open up Whoops. plenty of space there for photos and on this page I put a key which I had in my stash and made a butterfly and stamped it plenty of room there to put a photograph or you could even slot things into the corner here under the key because I have left a gap and on the inside back cover I have made a gatefold effect page which I have um, decorated with another butterfly which I've made and stamped. I don't think you can really see it here but it's nice and glittery. So it's a nice effect and that is another magnif um, magnet closure. And it opens up to reveal a pocket and two tags. I left the back cover plain, just distressed it and the front decorated it with flowers. So all in all, I'm really quite pleased with this project, but I really would not have been able to complete it without Patty's help and advice. So thank you very much for that. It's much appreciated. The, the other project I've been working on is 
a princess scrapbook for my daughter. Unfortunately, I didn't. I've, I don't have the confidence to actually bind it yet and make the chip uh, the chipboard covers and spine because. I've only got a couple of large sheets of paper left so these are all practice runs in the hope that I am actually going to be okay once I do the princess one. The pages in the princess one are absolutely lovely. I'm really really pleased with them. They're 8x8 eight eight pages which I've just really kind of made up the design myself. I've made the individual pages just ready to put into the scrapbook once I've made the cover and the hinge system into the book. In this project here, I act, this was the first time that I'd actually stuck the pages in before putting the paper on top and decorating them and I actually found that quite tricky so I think I prefer actually making the pages first and then putting them into the book. I also want to say a big thank you to Karen at Ambrosia Crafts, it's a UK company. Karen uh, makes all my uh, chipboard pieces. Uh, I previously I've bought different kind of wooden things from our MDF, things like wooden uh, tags and keys to make my Santa's Magic Keys for Christmas. and. I'm not very good with DIY stuff so I wasn't able to buy chipboard and actually cut it myself because it's three millimetres thick so I asked Karen if she could do it so I want to give like a little plug to Karen at Ambrosia Crafts because she's been really good and that's it for now and hopefully the next project I'll be showing you very soon hopefully is my princess scrapbook that I'm making for my daughter so thanks for listening and cheerio for now